Well, today is our Cleft Lip and Palate Team Day. Uh, what, what got you interested uh, in, in providing this service to the community? Well, actually, you did. And, and what, what, what happened was about 20 years when I came to town, I wanted to do cleft lip and palate surgery, but there was no team available. And uh, I knew that in order to uh, take care of children with cleft lip and palate problems, you needed a team approach. So uh, we talked and you made uh, the facilities available to us to start a cleft lip and palate team. And subsequently we have rather, uh, developed a rather good team in this uh, community. Where did you train? Where did you get your skills in, in uh, operating on a cleft palate? I know we said we had you go down to Children's and you scrubbed on some cases. Yeah. Well, basically most plastic surgeons learn how to do cleft lip and palate repairs in their residency. Uh, additional training is done on your own by watching other uh, master cleft lip and palate surgeons. And I did that by going to Children's Hospital and watching Dr. Reinage or going to UCLA and watching Dr. Kawamoto perform surgery. Now, I know we have a, an outreach team down in the Honduras. What, what is it you're trying to do down there for the surgeons down there? What we're trying to do basically is set up a permanent cleft lip and palate program in uh, Honduras, Central America. And we've finally started it. It's called Smile Train. It's a an organization based out of New York that gives um, uh, support to different developing teams in, in third world uh, countries. And um, we finally started that program down there. Who's been your local support? Has there been anybody in particular? Yeah. Locally? The, locally, the Kiwanis I know, I've, I've spoken to them. Well, yes, actually uh, Oxnard Rotary was uh, very helpful. They've donated quite a bit of money through different fundraisers, and then we've had uh, a lot of uh, help through a Land and Pediatric Foundation. I think Kellogg and Anderson was a, another big donor one year. Uh, and what are your plans for the future? To continue working with Small Train in Honduras and hopefully uh, uh, obtain additional funds so that once Small Train funds um, are no longer available, we'll have a, another uh, group that will help us keep the program going. I know you've just brought on a new colleague, and we'll, we'll, we'll end with this. Uh, can you tell me just a little bit about him and his background? Dr. Lee Hauke, yes, he's a, a new plastic surgeon in the community. He's um, from Loma Linda University. He t trained as a, initially as a dentist. Following that, he became an oral surgeon. He then uh, went back to medical school and finished a residency in general surgery followed by a, another residency in plastic surgery followed by a fellowship in craniofacial surgery. For the uh, last seven years he's been a craniofacial surgeon at Loma Linda University. He's now in our community, he's going to be working with us in our club of and palate team. Well, on behalf of all the children who don't have to travel all the way down to Los Angeles and provide all these services